How do you keep safe while living in your van? In this video, we're going to show you our top van life security tips. Before we started van life, I was absolutely terrified at the thought of living in a van. I wanted to make sure that we did absolutely everything that we could to stay safe. While nothing is 100% guaranteed, these are our top van life security tips to help keep us safe in the van. So in no particular order, here they are. Tip number one, cover up all of the windows in your van every time you leave the van. We use the sun reflectors on the front windows of the cab and we use our blackout blinds at the windows at the back of the van. The less that people see in, the less likely they're gonna to wanna to get into the van. Tip number two. If you're using any parking apps to find great locations, make sure they have recent reviews and make sure that no one has tried to break into any vans recently or anything like that. Anything suspicious, just avoid it. We also recommend having two or three backup options for every time you wanna stay somewhere. Tip number three, try and be as discreet as possible when you're getting in and out of your van. The less that people know that your van is a camper, the less that they think that there's something inside your van that's worth stealing. So just quickly get in and out, close the door behind you and don't delay. Tip number four, having CCTV inside your van is amazing. It gives you so much peace of mind. We use Wi-Fi to connect from our CCTV, giving a live stream to our phone. So when we're away from the van, we can see into the van and know that everything is okay. If anyone breaks into the van, we're gonna have a clear picture of them and we can show the police. We also have some CCTV stickers stuck on the van's windows. This allows people to know that there is CCTV inside the van and it's probably not worth trying to break into. Tip number five. If you get to a parking place and you really don't like it and you just get that gut feeling, geez, this place isn't safe, leave, move on to the next. It is definitely worth being safe, then sorry. If you're liking these tips so far, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to our channel. We give out van life hints and tips all the time. Tip number six, have a GPS tracker in your van. We have one ourselves and because it's used with GPS, we always know where the van is within a five meter radius. If the van is taken for any reason to a different country or anywhere, once we have phone signal and the tracker has phone signal, we'll know exactly where the van is. So not only with the CCTV inside the van, we know it's okay, but if the location moves, we also know exactly where it is and can give it to the police. Tip number seven. If your van doesn't have an alarm, get yourself some window alarms. We bought ourselves some window alarms on Amazon. They were so cheap and they're recommended by the police in the UK and they are great. What they do is when you have them set on, any vibrations in the window sets them off and it makes this really, really loud noise. So if anybody tries to break into your van and smashes the window, it'll set off the alarm and hopefully scare the people away. Everyone within a five mile radius will hear it by these alarms. They're so loud. We put one on every single window of our van. Tip number eight, have an extra security lock on the doors of your van. We currently have a deadlock on the back two doors of our van, making it really difficult for anybody to try and get in. The visual impact of this stops people from wanting to even try and break in because it's just so much more hassle if anyone was to try. Tip number nine, make sure you keep a clear walkway from the back of your van into the front of your van to the driver's seat. Sometimes you might need to quickly move the van because of the weather, but sometimes if you hear a noise and you really don't like it and you wanna make a quick escape, you could easily jump into the front of the van and drive away. Tip number 10, take all of your valuables with you. So when we go for walks or hikes, we always bring everything that's really valuable with us in person. That could be our laptop, a drone, whatever it might be. We always carry it on us. So in the worst case scenario, if the van is broken into and we come back, there's not really much that's actually lost that can't be replaced. Anything that's of massive value is gonna be with us at all times. The downside is it's a bit of a pain to have to carry everything, but the peace of mind we get from doing this makes it so worth it for us. Tip 
Have a large torch on you for security. If somebody tries to break into the van or make us open the door in the middle of the night, we have a massive torch that we shine in people's faces. This will stop the person from being able to see. It will give you a few seconds to realize who they are. If it's the police, it's fine. If it's somebody you don't want near your van, you have a couple of seconds to react and decide what you want to do to stay safe. We've never had to do this, by the way, just disclaimer. Yeah, we've never had to do it, but- Thank God. Yeah. If you have any better tips than these guys, please comment down below and we'll add them for future videos. We hope these top van life security tips help keep you safe in your van life adventure. If you want to look at the security in our van in more detail, we're going to link our full van tour video about here. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please like and share the video and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, mm. Christ on a bike. Should we dress up as a bandit? The sticky bandits. <laughs> yeah, so this is a good thing. Oh. You're meant to go. I'm still recording. Yeah. So you're asking a question. Okay, okay, okay. How do you actually keep safe yeah, when you're living how in? How do you keep safe? So in no particular order, in no particular order, no particular order. So in no particular order. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh. Tip number. Tip number twelve.